Hey flamingos! Okay, so we're gonna go over the next part of your invention sketchbook, um, which is inventors in history. And if you have this page in your sketchbook blank, you should write in inventors in history. There are lines on a page um, and you can ask mom and dad to help you to write these words. Okay. <clears throat> the first we're gonna first in this video we're gonna talk about the first inventor in history that we talked about. We're gonna remember all of the awesome things that Leonardo da Vinci invented. And that actually, right, you guys remember that he had ideas for because since he lived so long ago, 500 years ago, right? Uh, he didn't have all of the things that he needed to make inventions that we have today. So he had a lot of ideas for inventions, and we're gonna go through them, right? Uh, he did something a lot. He would go out into nature and he would watch how birds flew and how trees grew and plants grew and how people moved and how, how the world operated, right? And uh, so he, he would observe, he would watch, and he would learn. Uh, and he would go into his home and he would uh, write about these things and he would draw them in his sketchbook, just like you all have, right? So uh, he would draw these ideas that he had because he didn't have the materials to make them, like we've said. So right now, when we go on a trip, we fly in an airplane, right? That idea was Leonardo da Vinci's, right? This is his idea that he drew for the, the basic idea for an airplane. Uh, this is a hang glider. Maybe you see these if you go on vacation, people hang gliding over, over the, the beach or over mountains, right? Well, Mr. Leonardo da Vinci had that idea by attaching wings to a person and, and, and allowing them to fly like a bird could. He was pretty fascinated with birds, right? Remember learning that? See, he would watch the birds and how their wings moved, and then he designed a contraption so people could do the same thing. He also came up with the idea for a contact lens, right? Something that maybe mom and dad put on their eyes to help them see instead of wearing glasses. Um, we also learned, when we talked about Thomas Edison, and we'll review him again, we also learned about the kinetoscope, which is a modern movie projector, or a kinetoscope is not a modern movie projector, but it was the, the basis for the modern movie projector. So people would look into this box, and this box inside it would play a movie. That's how people watched movies. Um, and Leonardo da Vinci had the idea for a projector, just like in our Flamingo classroom, how we have our, uh, our projector that connects to our computer and it puts all of our, our videos and other neat things onto the whiteboard. That was Leonardo da Vinci's invention, idea, anyway. He also had the idea for a single span bridge, a bridge that connected one side to land and the other side to land and it didn't have anything holding it up in the center. He had the idea for a single span bridge. And then he also came up with the idea for an army tank. So when people go to war, he came up with an idea for something that would protect them in times of war. In the dangerous situations that happen in war, they could be protected in a metal vehicle. And then he also came up with the idea for the bicycle. Do you guys like to ride your bike? Go outside today because it's a beautiful day and ride your bike. And remember that Leonardo da Vinci had the idea for the bicycle. He also had the idea for a helicopter. When you look up in the sky and hear a very loud sound, it's not likely a plane, it's likely a helicopter. They fly closer to the ground, right? So Leonardo da Vinci had the idea for a machine that people could, could turn the propellers and it would fly, and that is the basis for a helicopter that we see in the sky today. He also came up with the idea by looking at a log and the shape of a fish that boats could be shaped in such a way that would allow for them to float. And uh, so he came up with the idea for the shape of the hull of a boat, which is this bottom part here. 
He also came up with the idea for scuba gear that allow people to swim underwater and go and see all the different fish and, and coral that lives underwater. He came up with the idea for that, although he didn't have the equipment at the time to make it, but he did have the idea. He also came up with the idea for something that when hearts get sick, sometimes people's hearts get sick, and when that, and when that happens, he came up with the idea to, for a little, uh, a little stint in a heart valve to keep a heart valve open so the blood could flow. Remember we, we did an exercise and we felt our heartbeats and we watched, our, we looked at our veins all over our body and we talked about how the heart pushes blood all over our body. Well, if somebody's heart is having a little trouble doing that, Leonardo da Vinci had the idea to put a stint in their heart valve to keep it open so the blood could flow all over their body still. He also came up with the idea for a rotisserie. And remember we talked about going to the store and sometimes you see the chickens rotating, rotating over something hot. Maybe it's not fire, but it's something hot and it's cooking the chickens. And, and that is a rotisserie. And Leonardo da Vinci came up with that idea for a rotisserie. He came up with the idea, this doesn't look like cars that we get into today, but it was one of the first cars that we saw, a gas-powered automobile, um, and he came up with the idea for a car to be powered by gasoline. He also came up with the idea for a robot. A robot was Mr. Leonardo da Vinci's idea. But remember, not all inventions are robots, right? They're really cool, but not all inventions are robots. He also came up with a really super duper cool idea for a parachute. And you know, I'm gonna still see if I can find that video of, of when I went skydiving and share it with you guys on the Google Classroom. It's pretty funny to see Miss Lauren jumping out of a plane and using a parachute like we talked about. So now that we have this opportunity, I'm gonna see if I can find that video and share it with you guys so you can see the parachute working, right? It catches all the air and it allows you to float slowly. Yeah, so these are all of the ideas that we talked about, right? And remember all of the examples in this book? It shows us, and, and all of you have drawn all of the ideas of Leonardo da Vinci in your sketchbook, and you did a beautiful, uh, beautiful job with that. Here's Livy's page with Leonardo da Vinci's ideas for inventions, and she chose to draw the parachute and the car and the boat and the bicycle. Next, we're gonna talk about Benjamin Franklin. Thanks guys, see you soon.